Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a tutorial for how to play My Friend Pedro or any Unity game in VR, in 3D, using Helix Vision. Now, not every Unity game works in VR, in 3D, but I would say from my experience, a vast majority of them do work and the way you do it is the same. Uh, some games are already listed on Helix Vision. They already have their own profile. If so, that's great. That means there was a specific profile created for that game to give it the best experience possible. So keep in mind, we're going to use the Universal Unity Engine 3D Fix. So it's kind of like a one size fits all approach. For some games, it's going to work great. For other games, it's going to work, but it's not going to look so great. I've already played my fan Pedro in 3D in VR using the Universal Unity Fix, and it looks good. The only issue I noticed was with the shadows, but we'll get into that later. Let's go ahead and start. So first thing first, make sure you play the game. Hit install the game and hit the play now. Okay, make sure the game works without 3D, without trying to do anything. Just make sure it works. Uh, look at the resolution, make sure it's full screen. Uh, I'm on a 1060 GTX, so I tend to lower the resolution just a bit, but make sure it's full screen. Once you have more experience, you can get away from full screen. You don't need to have it full screen for every fix. But when you're just starting off, I recommend full screen and just you know change the resolution to something that you think your rig will handle. So uh, let's go ahead and let me show you. Let's start. So after you played the game, make sure it works just fine in 2D. By the way, my friend Pedro is not VR. It does not, doesn't have a VR mod. We're using a 3D fix to get it to work in 3D. By the way, this is a walking simulator. I got that free to play game to work. This is using the Unreal Engine. I've done a prior video already showing Unreal Engine Fix, so we're not going to do that. Uh, so the first thing that you do is you start Helix Vision. Okay, and this is what you should see. Uh, just the list of games. Uh, you'll see which ones are installed that work. Now for most of these, these are profiles that have already been created by somebody else. And usually these pro these profiles are specifically tailored for that game so that you get the best experience in VR, in 3D for that game. But we're going to do something different. We're not going to go with that. We're just going to make our own profile. We're just going to use a one-size-fits-all fix. And so to do that, first thing you have to do is you have to go to Settings. So click on the Settings tab. Then make sure the tab below it is with applic under application settings is is what you have and what you're looking at so go to the tab settings then under that tab is the application settings tab and you want to be looking at the general settings box now under this box it says use program 4 and it says virtual reality we actually want to change that we want to change it to 3d vision now, 3D Vision is also known as Hacker Mode, so I'm going to refer to it from now on as Hacker Mode. So go into Hacker Mode, and now what it'll do, it'll list all the games, and it'll change some of the tabs here. So you see it has a tab for Install Games Now and All Fixed Types, a New, an Edit, and a Delete button as well. And I've added some of these games myself, so not all of these you see are part of Helix Vision's default profiles. So we can go to All Games. And we can look for my friend Pedro, and you'll see it's not here. My friend Pedro, Pedro, is not here. So we got to create a new profile, so real easy. Just click on new. Once we're on the new profile, the first thing that you do is go under game title, very top, and type in my friend Pedro. Then you search Steam DB. And it found it. Okay, so you click yes. And I like to, under 3D fixed state, just go ahead and put works out of the box. You don't have to. I just love to do that for, for who knows what reason. 
<laughs> and then under game engine, go ahead. We again, we already know this is a Unity engine game, so you do got to find that out. And we're gonna put Unity engine yes, okay. And we're gonna put compatible to VR yes. So this will make it show up automatically under our normal uh, setting, under our normal virtual reality setting. We change it to hacker mode. Once you go back, if you click on compatible to VR, it'll automatically show up, okay. So after you do that, all you have to do is go down. Now you can put the information for install 3D fix, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're actually gonna go to uh, game launcher first. So under game launcher EXE under the game launch box, see game launcher EXE. And you see when you found the game under the Steam database, it automatically put in the Steam app ID. So click on pick file. And we're going to go, um, as you see, I did the Walking Simulator 2020 uh, fix. It works. I really liked it in 3D. I, I recommend it. It's a free-to-play game. And playing it in 3D and VR is a lot more fun. But let's go ahead and go under our Steam library. It doesn't matter whether you're in the C or D or wherever you have. Wherever your Steam library is, go there. Steam Apps Common, that's, that will list all your games. And we're going to go to again my friend pedro 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 my friend there it is and this one's real easy okay but while we're here we're gonna do something else actually we're not gonna do anything else we're just gonna copy paste this so you can just remember it says my friend Pedro. So that's the main folder. That's where you install the 3D fix. And that's also where the game executable file is. So just click on my friend Pedro blood bullets bananas. And it'll put the name of the file here. My friend Pedro dash blood bullets banana dot exe. And so now we're going to go to install 3D fix because obviously we need to install the 3D fix too. And here we found the install 3D fix box. Under install folder name, we're just gonna paste my friend Pedro. You could just type it out, but just make sure it's exactly the same. So here it has spaces in between my and friend and space between friend and Pedro. Make sure it's exactly the same as the folder. Okay, so we're ready and that's it. There's nothing else to do. This was a real easy profile we created. So we're gonna create profile. And it's just gonna take a a few seconds and boom there there it is so all you have to do now is install 3d fix and then just click on play in vr make sure your vr headset is ready that's it that's all it took really easy this will work for every unity engine game uh, just make sure the game title is listed correctly that might cause some issues just make sure the install folder is, is named correctly but other than that that's it so uh, I've already played this game in 3D in VR. It looks great. The only issue is the shadows in the background. They're a little fuzzy. But yeah, that's it. This works for ev almost every Unity engine game. I want to say, in my experience, it's been about 90% success rate. It might depend on yours. Keep in mind, I'm on Windows 1903. I'm on NVIDIA driver 425.31. So make sure that you're using those, uh, you don't have to roll back Windows, but I definitely recommend rolling back your NVIDIA drivers to 42531. And yeah, you need a NVIDIA graphics driver for all this to work. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. That's been my tutorial. This is how to get, how, this is how you play my friend Pedro in VR, in 3D with Helix Vision, and it'll work with most Unity engine games as well. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.